Yeah. All right. Okay, nine o'clock, and you're all here. This is wonderful. So just be aware of your space. A bit of space. There's only supposed to be ten people in the class. There's only supposed to be ten people in here today. Right, just make sure you've got some space, okay? All right, so. We've been doing the body weight theme this uh, this week. Uh, if you were here Monday, we we're just using our bodies. If you were here Wednesday morning, the same thing. So again, the same thing today, but we're not going to be using a time domain of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to be using a rep range. So we're going to do 10 repetitions of each movement, and we've got three blocks of work. So the first block of work, we'll have three movements, 10 repetitions, uh, so on, so forth. So let's get ourselves warmed up first of all. So we're going to come to the end of the mat and we're going to do some roll downs. So if you come to the end of the mat, about hip distance apart, all you're going to do is think about loosening up the spine. So we're going to take the arms up towards the ceiling, we're going to open them out, tuck the chin in and slowly allow the spine to just round out. Let your shoulders roll in. And you're going to come to a point where you can't come any further, but don't over-exaggerate. If you feel that little bit of a stretch, start to rebuild the spine, slowly back up. And as you start to rebuild, start to squeeze your glutes, start to squeeze your butt muscles. Come all the way up, and you're going to just continue, nice and slow. So you're thinking about rounding out the spine, tucking the chin in, letting that round into the spine, soften the knees, all the way down. Start to slowly rebuild, stack the spine back up, squeeze the glutes, and just continue. And as you all continue, you may find you go a little bit lower, you might start to maybe reach the floor with your fingertips. Those that are really mobile may actually get their whole hand down on the floor. You don't push it, and just ease back up into that standing position. Good. We're just gonna do another two more. So tucking in the chin, round out through the neck, shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back. You can feel the hamstring stretch a little bit. And we build nice and slow. Head is the last thing to come up. Good. And then you're just gonna hang out down the bottom. And down the bottom, just soften the knees, take the feet a little bit wide and just let your body just swing from one side to the other. So you'll find that that lower back will have a little bit of a uh, stretch as you move side to side. Good, just keep it going there for a moment, a little swing side to side. Good, now just soften the knees a little bit more so you can take your hands onto the floor and just slowly walk them forward. You're gonna go into a downward dog position. So from here, we're gonna move. We're gonna push the heels to the floor, push your chest to your thighs, and then transfer your weight onto your toes and take your weight over into your hands. So you're just gonna push back into the heels and then take the weight over into the hands. Back into the heels and over to the hands. And try and really push your chest to the thighs as you push back, head through the arms, and then back up. So you're kind of just really getting a stretch while you're moving. Forward and back. Good, from here we're just gonna to drop to the knees and we're just gonna do some cat-cow positions. So we're gonna round out the back. Let's get the hips moving a little bit more. Open the shoulder blades, push the hips back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So we're going to round out and then a little dip in the spine, squeeze the shoulder blades. So it's not just your hips that are moving forward and back, it's your shoulders that are closing and opening. Just see how those hips are feeling. Good, and then from there we are just going to relax and we're going to come over onto our butts. We're going to start working. Okay, so we've got three movements. We're going to do a basic crunch, we're then going to touch the toes, and then we are going to, what are we going to do? We're going to do a reverse curl, I forgot then. Ooh, forgot, my notes are over there, forgot. All right, so we're going to come down onto our backs, and we're going to bring the feet in. So bringing those feet in towards you, so they're underneath the heel, underneath, your heels are underneath your knees. And I want you to just take the hands just by your ears. All right, so if you have any neck issues, then you can take your hands 
just behind your head and you're going to just support your head here. If you feel pretty strong in the neck, just take the hands by the ears so that you can really focus on keeping nice and strong through the torso. We're going to push the lower back into the mats and we're just going to curl up. So head, shoulders, upper back into that crunch position and then all the way down. We're going to do that another nine times. So we're going to lift up and we're going to lower down. So if you're focusing on your breathing, take a deep breath in before you lift. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in as you lower. Good. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in as you lower. Keep it going. Let's do another five. And back down. Another four. Three. So feel that rib cage go down to the hips. Two. And last one. Good. And all the way down. We're now going to take the feet up towards the ceiling. So if you can lengthen your legs, point your toes. If you can, lock out the knees, lock out the knees. If not, just soften them. From here, take the hands on top of your thighs. So let's try and get some contact with the body. We're gonna slide the fingers up towards the shoelaces. Little pause there, and then all the way down. Try and keep your hands in line with your legs, and let's go again, nine times. We lift up, so we're gonna do 10 in total. Lift up, and down, good. Lift up, and down. Take your head and shoulders off the floor, and down, keep it going. And down, making sure you're breathing. And release, lift, and release. Two more. Good, and last one. So that's 10 done there. We're now gonna just gently take the feet down to the floor, hands down by your side. And we're gonna curl the knees in towards the chest. We're gonna do a reverse curl. So we're gonna be working that lower abdominal wall and the lower back will get a bit of movement. So from here, just think about bringing your knees in towards your chest and your feet stay down. All right, and then all the way back down. Little gentle tap with the toe. I'm gonna to do that another nine times. So that was our one done. This is two, curling in, three, curling in, four, curling in, five, six, seven, so try not to flick at the knee, we're just bringing those knees in. Two more, good, and last one. All right, that's one round done. Let's just extend the legs away from you, extend the arms overhead. Lift through the rib cage as you breathe now. We're stretching, stretching the abdominal wall that we've just worked. We're gonna do another two rounds. So you are gonna to start to feel a little bit tight for the abdominal wall. If you need to stop after a few reps, stop, recover, get back into it. If you can, go for 10. Let's go for 10 again. So bend the knees, take the feet in, hands supporting your head, either by your ears or just underneath. Deep breath in, breathe out as you lift. That's one, keep it going. Two, coming down. Three, all the way down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, and last one. All right, from here, let's take the feet up towards the ceiling. Touching your thighs, we're gonna roll those hands up the legs, up towards the shoelaces, off we go. Up we come, and all the way back down. Get the head and shoulders off the floor. Two, look up towards your fingers. Three, all the way down. Four, five, six, how far can you reach? Seven. If you let your fingernails grow, maybe to your toes. Eight. <laughs> Nine. Last one. Ten. All right, from here, bend the knees. Take the feet, just toes just down to the floor. We're going to take the hands by our side. Ten reverse curl. Off we go. Knees just in towards the chest. One. Two. Keep it going. Three. Four. Even if you just get a little movement. Five, and you can't get your knees all the way in. That is good. Six, we're just getting some activation there. Seven, eight, nine, we've got one more, and 10. Okay, extend the legs, extend the arms overhead. Give yourself some time to recover. Let those muscles just have a little stretch out. They get fatigued pretty quick. So deep breath in, feel the rib cage lift. As you breathe out, just relax a little. Just do that a couple more times. We've got one more round. One more round of our three blocks. 
And let's bend the knees. Take the feet flat on the floor, hands supporting your head. We've got 10 crunches. Off we go. Deep breath in. Breathe out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good work. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and ten. Feet up, hands on the thighs. Let's slide up. One, and release. Try and get to ten. Two, don't worry if you don't. Three, do what you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one. Last set of reverse curls. Toes down to the floor. Hands by your side. Let's get those knees in towards us. One. Two. Activating the lower abdominals. Three. Lower back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one and 10. So anyone feeling a little bit of a uh, lactic acid building up in the muscle, that pain is that waste product building up, it will disperse, have a good old stretch. Woo! You can do that as well. <laughs> Let me hear you. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we've really worked that abdominal muscle now. We are going to flip over. We're gonna work on that deep center core area. And we're gonna go into a plank position. We're gonna add movement, so through the feet. We're then gonna do a little bit of back extension so we can get that back fired up. So not only are we able to move forward, we can move backwards a little bit. So if there's, it's a functional movement. If there's someone behind you, you need to just turn around. You won't turn around all really straight in the spine. You'd have a little bit of flexion. Uh, and then we're gonna go back into plank with a bit of a hand tap. So we've got 10 repetitions of each one. Is it still working? <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, plank position. Let's get ourselves involved. We're going to go onto the forearms. So we've got a big base of support. The elbow is going to go directly under the shoulder. So from here on your mat, you've got the elbow under your shoulder and you're going to go into plank. So this is a full plank where we take the feet out and we take them about hip distance apart and tuck under the hips. If you struggle in this position, you can drop to your knees. Okay, so your knees are on the floor, so you're a little bit more supported and you can move there. All we're gonna do is a little toe tap to the side. So full position plank here, we tuck under the hips, we squeeze the glutes and we push the floor away. So we're engaging the shoulders. All you're gonna do is tap the toe, I'll just come over so they can see me. Tap the toe out and back under, out and back under. We're gonna do one rep at a time. So we go out and in, out and in. Good, that's two, out and in, out and in three. Keep going, if you're on your knees, same thing. Just take the foot out and back down to your knee. Take the foot out, back down to your knee. Keep your tailbone tucked under. I've lost count, how many have you done? 10 now. Have you done 10 already? Good, and then all the way down. Why haven't you done 10 all the way down? Good, we're gonna do a bit of back extension. So back extension, two ways to do it. We can either, if you're super flexible in your lower back, then you can take your hands by your ears Squeeze your glutes and take your feet together. Keep looking down to the mat. You're going to lift the chest. You don't have to lift it high. It all depends on your mobility. You're going to lift, keep looking at the floor, and then all the way back down. Ten times. So that's one. So we lift and down two. If that's a struggle, hands down and just a little gentle push and down. Keep it going whilst I turn that music down. It's gone louder. I'll be back. Good, seven, is that right? Seven. Eight. Good, nine, I'm back in the room. And 10, good. From there, we're gonna go back into plank. So back onto your forearms, up into full plank, if you're coming into full plank or drop to your knees, and we're gonna tap the hand out. So we're gonna go out and back under. We go out and back under. Keep the hips nice and still. So no rocking side to side. Good. We go out five, 
six, on your knees if you need to, seven, eight, keep tight, tuck under the hips, nine, one more, and 10. All the way down, have a little breather, and you can sit back onto your heels, have a little stretch there. We got another two rounds of that. So the plank position is probably the toughest one. We got to keep the torso nice and still. All right, let's go back into plank position on your knees or on your toes. We tuck under the hip, we squeeze the glutes. All right, so on your toes or on your knees. Let's go with the feet, we're gonna tap out. One and in, two and in. Keep nice and still with the rest of the body. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Let's come down, squeeze your glutes, feet together, hands by your ears or down beside you. Let's lift, you go up and down, one, up and down, two. So you can have your hands here, three, or by your ears, four. Squeeze those glutes, five, Six, I'm just showing you two types. Seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Back into plank, tuck under the hips, squeeze the glutes, it's hand time. So we tap it out, one, back under, two, back under. Widen the feet if you're really switching those hips up and down. Four, so you can take the feet a bit wide if you need to, five, Keep the torso nice and still. Six, seven, eight. Hang in there. Nine. One more. Ten. Oh, down we come. So ten is that target. If you can't reach ten, it's all right. It's all right. From there, sit back on the heels again. It's good to have a little release through the lower back. Nice leggings, Lisa. Beautiful, beautiful camouflage. I can't see you. I can't see you with those camouflage leggings. There are people in the room, people who, if anyone's watching, I'm not talking to myself because they can't see you. There you go. <laughs> All right, one more round. One more round. What's that? Put makeup on. I have. I put extra, extra mascara on today. Right, into plank again. We tuck under the hips, we squeeze the glutes. Let's do that foot tap. Last round, yep. Let's go. We go out and in. One. Out and in two, out and in three, out and in four. Keep going if you're coming to your knees. Out and in five, out and in six, out seven, eight, two more, nine and ten. We come down, we squeeze the glutes, we take the feet together. Let's lift. One, keep looking towards the floor. Two, hands by your side if you need to. Three, little push. Four, we're getting some movement in that lower back. Five, the scaffolding of the spine. Six, seven, eight, two more. And last one, last plank with the hand tap. So up we come again, on your knees or on your toes, little tap with the hand. One, keep the torso still. Two, keep the ribcage down to your hips. Three, Squeeze your glutes, four. Tuck under the hips, five. Six, and breathe, yeah. Seven, don't hold your breath. Eight, nine, one more, 10. And down you come. Just give yourself a moment here. Relax your glutes, let your legs just drop out. And then we're gonna sit back onto the heels, stretch it out here. Back we come. Stretch those arms forward, have a little breather, a little stretch through the back as well. Brilliant, so we've worked the abdominal wall with our lying on the back, crunching in, little toe tuck gets right under the rib cage, reverse curl gets the lower abdominals. We've just done some real good core stability work with plank, that's always a good one. We're now gonna do some lever work. So we think of our arms and legs as levers, going away from the trunk of the body, from your neck down to around your hips. We're gonna use these as weights. So think about how much your arms weigh, how much your legs weigh. And we're gonna take them away from the trunk of the body. So you don't need a weight, you've got your body as your weight. So think about how much you weigh and how much your arms and legs will weigh. If you were to take them off, 
put them on the scales. But you're not going to do that, okay? Don't do that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to come onto our back. And we're going to do just the basic lever work to start with. Um, we're going to do the easiest one. So if you just want to keep continue doing the easier one, you can. So all you need to do is come down onto the floor. All right, so you're going to take your knees up in line with your hips. So no knees in towards you. Knees in line with your hips. Now if you push your lower back down, you're going to feel your midline really engaged. So we're trying to get that lower back down onto the mat. For those with really exaggerated arched spines, you're going to have to work a little bit more. All right, but just brace the abdominals from here, knees above the hips, ankles in line with your knees, so no legs up here. Ankles in line with your knees, and try and point your toes, because we're gonna try and dip the toe down to the floor. So imagine there's a little pool of water below you, and all you're gonna do is keep the lower back down, and a little dip down. Touch the, toe, the floor of your toe, and back up. One, other side, two. Other side, three. Coming back up, the knees just above the hips, four. This is the easiest one, five. But you can feel activation through the trunk. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Try and hold this position if you can. We're now gonna lengthen the legs one at a time. Go high if you need to, if you uh, wanna protect the lower back. But if you're pretty strong in the lower back, you can go all the way towards the floor. So I'll try the high one first. We're gonna extend the leg, that's one. Bend the knee above the hip. Two, now if you wanna go a little bit lower, extend a little lower. Three, try and really lengthen from the hip. Four, if you wanna go even lower. Five, squeeze your glutes if you're doing that. Six, keep the rest of the body tight. Seven, you can go hovering off the floor. Eight, don't touch the floor though. Nine, and one more. Ten, good, hold. If you really have to come out of it, just bring the knees in and have a little roll. If not, just hold it here. We're now gonna use the arms as well. Arms go up towards the ceiling. So now we're gonna work the arms as we work both legs. So take the feet together. As we extend the legs, we're gonna extend the arms above us, but keep the rib cage down, so no arching in the back. Let's go high to start with, one, and then we come back to the center. Try a little bit lower, two. For those that can, try a little bit lower, three. So I'm taking the whole of my arms and legs away from the trunk of the body, four. Squeeze your glutes if you're going all the way down, five. Keep the rib cage down, six, back in. Seven, back in. Eight, and in. Try and get that lower back down. Nine, and we've got one more. And 10. All right, from here, little breather. Bring the knees in and have a little roll side to side. Little circle around. Change direction. Just lengthen the legs for a moment. Just shake them out. We're going to do that again. So round two. All right, so from here, let's pick the left. Foot up, knee above the hip, push your lower back down. Right foot up, knee above the hip. Keep tight here, rib cage down. Okay, hands just by your side. Let's go dip in the toe, left foot down, and back up. One, tip, two, three. Now, let's not make a noise. Four, little light dip, five, six. Gentle dip down, seven, eight, nine, Good, and 10. Let's extend the leg, one at a time. Keep your lower back down, let's go. One, and back in. Two, and in. If you wanna take it high, take it high. Three, four, if you wanna go lower, this is your time. Five, six, lower back down. Seven, rib cage down. Eight, nine, one more. 10, all right, hold, hands up. Feet together, let's extend arms and legs at the same time. High to start with if you need to. One, back in. Lower if you can. Two, in. Three, in. When the arms go overhead, the ribs try not to flare up. Don't do that. Keep it down. Good. Five more, is that right? Yeah. Five. Good, I'm glad you're all counting. Four. Three. Two, we've got one more and then one more round. Good, and release. Just have a little hug, a little move side to side. If you want to extend the legs, just gently take them down. Give them a little shake up. The hip flexors get a little bit tight. Just give yourself a moment to recover. 
So your rest in between one, try and do about 30, 45 second rest before you go again. But if you do need a little bit longer, obviously take a little bit longer. All right, so bend the knees, lower back down, hands by your side, lift the left foot up, knee above the hip. We've got one more round. Lower back down, brace. Right knee, foot up, knee above the hip. Let's go dip in the toe for the last time. Left foot down and up. One, two, three, four, gently does it. Five, six, nice and tight here. Seven, eight, two more. That's that done. One leg at a time, extend. One and in. Two and in. Go low if you can. Three and in. Four, if you are going lower, squeeze the glute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it here, hands up. Both legs out, both arms out. Off we go. One, you choose your range. You've done two rounds already. Two, back in. Squeeze, three, and in. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and last one, and ten. Let's bring the knees in, little roll side to side. We're going to start to stretch. Yeah, we did that well. Didn't even have the five minute warning shout out from Jan. Jan Allen's in the back of the room, just to let you know. <laughs> All right, so let's take the feet down, and we're going to start to stretch. Extend the legs. Extend the arms. Let's have a good deep stretch. Lift through the rib cage and breathe out. Let the body relax. Good. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Let's bring those knees back in and just take them a little wider and just try and draw them in towards your shoulders. So a little pull in and then release. And just do that a few times. You'll feel that lower back stretch out. Good. And then just push them together. We're going to open the arms and we're going to gently allow the knees to drop to the left or the right or whatever. Just drop it to the side. Okay, so people with a little bit more flexibility might be able to get their leg over, as they say. <laughs> We're all adults in the room. We can have a bit of a laugh. So relax that top leg. If not, and just think about relaxing that top leg a little bit more if it's here. Just try not to hold any tension. Think about turning the upper body away from the legs. But keep your shoulders down on the floor. So bringing that top knee back in, brace the abdominals, take it over to the other side. Gently take the knees down. And again, if you're flexible, you wanna take that top leg over a little bit more, take it over. Just find some stretch where it's easing into and feeling a release in the lower back. And let's bring the knees back into the center. We're going to lift the head and shoulders. Now you can either hold in this little tuck or if you want to have a little rock on the lower back, feel the muscles just having a little bit of a massage. Give it a go. And then one big roll up to the top. And we're gonna to roll over. And we're gonna round that spine again. This time we're gonna hold it. So tuck under your hips, look towards the legs, open the shoulders, hold it here, breathe. Imagine someone's pulling the middle of your back up to the ceiling. Feel that stretch. And then let's reverse it. So we're gonna just do a little dip in the spine. And I want you to think about squeezing the shoulder blades. Think about having a piece of fruit between the shoulder blades. You're having a little squeeze there. And now try and lengthen the neck while you're doing that. So you're still looking at the floor, lengthening the neck, squeezing the shoulders. Relax, we're gonna take the knees a little bit wider, toes together and try and sit back onto the heels. And then just stretch the arms forward, keep them active, try and stretch them away, dropping the chest towards the floor. So we're gonna come up the same way we got down, which is a little bit of a uh, rebuilding the spine position. So let's take the hands towards the knees. We're gonna to tuck the toes under. 
We're going to soften the knees and we're just going to let the body just have a forward fold here. Let it just hang, let it drop, let the arms loosen off. And we're going to rebuild the spine nice and slow. So keep the knees soft. Start to think about lifting through the lower back first. Keep the body close towards your legs. As you start to rise, start to squeeze the glutes. Head is the last thing to come up. All the way up. Get a nice squeeze in the glutes. And we're going to roll out the shoulders. Good, we're going to loosen up the legs and we're going to give each other a clap. Can I do a quick pan around? Can I do a quick pan around? They are here, look! Hey! Hi, West Ham members! Woohoo! And it's still recorded, brilliant, yay!